Well, it's not just tech that could see change under President-elect Trump. The energy industry is preparing for an overhaul, one they're happily anticipating. With names like Rex Tillerson, Rick Perry now, and Scott Pruitt as potential cabinet members, the oil industry has never had so many allies in Washington. Joining us now is David Wethy, Bloomberg Energy reporter in Houston. Rick Perry, the latest name to be added to the list. How significant and how beneficial to the energy industry will these men be? Or can they put aside all of their previous ties? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, this could very well be historic. I mean, you know, you've had for decades and decades sort of this adversarial relationship between energy uh, industry and, and federal government. And, and not only does this now make it friendly relationship, uh, sort of turning all that on its head, but when you have somebody like Rex Tillerson, uh, who comes from the world's largest uh, oil company, uh, now heading up the top spot in the State Department, you've got something of a, of a powerful, forceful, um, uh, you know, strong ally for the energy industry. Industry, uh, that could benefit the um, industry in a lot of different ways, just sort of having that voice uh, in Trump's cabinet. So, you know, even when you go back to even something as recent as the Bush administration, which was, you know, you heard the cries of drill, baby, drill, and, and there was thought that that administration would be very friendly to the oil and gas industry. Um, you know, you didn't even come away with anything sort of like a, a comprehensive energy policy. So even an administration like that sort of fell short of what many thought would be a, this very strong pro-ally uh, uh, for the energy industry. So this could be something we've not seen in decades and decades, maybe a century. David, you write that a big oil is going from Washington outsider to running uh, the show. What's going to change regulatorily when you when you look at if, when these guys take these positions? What could change? What has been a source of frustration? What have been sources of frustration to the oil industry uh, with the present administration? I, I think one of the chief areas is the EPA. That's really been one of the strongest areas that has been um, uh, positioning against fossil fuels. And so the energy industry is looking at what Scott Pruitt can do. Uh, and, and he's made no bones about the fact that when he's been AG at uh, uh, the state of Oklahoma, that, that he's been one of the top uh, officials in that state against the EPA. And so there have been a lot of uh, you know rules against the, the power industry uh, and fracking and that sort of thing, or, or at least thought uh, that would go against fracking. and. Uh, uh, drilling offshore that, uh, that comes from the EPA. So that could be one of the strongest areas that we could see um, uh, sort of loosened uh, for the energy industry. Well, Tillerson does believe that climate change is a reality and he does approve carbon, carbon emissions taxes. Well, what do you anticipate will be his position when he becomes, you know, secretary, assuming he does? And also Rick Perry. I mean, what, what, how will that tag team work? Yeah, it's going to be very interesting because it sort of goes against what pu Trump has said publicly. So who wins out? Does the cabinet ultimately sort of convince uh, the boss uh, of, of what their feelings are? Or do their feelings sort of check at the door uh, once they come to this sort of federal role? Do their feelings change a little bit from what they felt, uh, you know, running a country, uh, running a company or, or running the state of Texas like Rick Perry or Rex Tillerson? So uh, one professor told me that, that, you know, what you go into this job, uh, with sort of this expected, um, you know, thought uh, against something, may not you may not walk away with the same feeling because you realize how difficult and complex the energy uh, machine can be, uh, and so what you want to sort of help the energy industry with, uh, you may not be able to do because the market may be greater than what you want to do as, as a president. Dave, it's been a couple days now since Rex Tillerson was named as the pick to be Secretary of State. What more have we learned about? Uh, how the transition team is explaining why somebody who's run a big oil company would be well equipped to run the State Department. You know, I, I, I think we're still waiting to hear more uh, details, uh, but but certainly one thing is is known is that he ran a very very tight ship, uh, you know, at, at Exxon. Uh, you know, very few leaks uh, came out of that sort of company. So it could be interesting to see how he runs the State Department. It, 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 perhaps in the same way, you know, will, will it be harder for us to get you know dribs and drabs of information out of the State Department if he runs it in a similar sort of fashion?